Hey now, Steve Severs for Bionic Buzz. We're at the Metal Hall of Fame Awards. It's going to be amazing red carpet. Let's go see who we can talk to. It's, it's a weird state of rock and roll today. You know, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame came out, and Salgard and Judas Priest still didn't get in. But we're here celebrating the Metal Hall of Fame, so that's good. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, you know, I, I see, like, if I can see into the future a little bit, I know those guys will all be in there because they deserve it, and they have... First of all, the record sales, and they have yeah, they the amazing, them. iconic people in those bands that it just, they have to be recognized. You know, they, they changed music, each one of those guys, in so profoundly different ways. And uh, I think that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it won't come down to a vote, it'll just be like, you're in. Maybe they're just delayed it all, so spread it out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the voting gets a little bit weird, you know, yeah. like, so. So anyway, well, here Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passions. Where did your passion for music come from? Certain album inspired it, live performance, so it was always natural for you. Dude, I was just talking about this the other day. I was like a little kid, and my my uh, my cousin brought Kiss Alive One home, yeah. and I stared at that thing for two. I was just blank stare for two hours, man. And then I got into all the stuff, man. All those bands that came out in the early '80s really kind of inspired me as a youngster, and just you know. There's a photo around of the, the two guys holding the poster in the back of it. That are, have you seen that? I, I yeah. did see that the other day. Cool. Correct me up. I was wondering where those two went. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, for me, like I, my very first real inspiration came from Bob Seger, and then the very next step was like Michael Jackson. But the one that really, really hooked me was uh, the, the, one of the guys that's playing tonight, Chris Poland. The Megadeth album, Peace Sells But Who's Buying. I heard Wake Up Dead. I was 12 years old. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning on Headbangers Ball. And that opening drum fill for Wake Up Dead was just like... And I'm like, I will... I will do that. <laughs> and I actually played that song on a on a jam with David Ellison and Dirk Verber oh, a couple yeah. of months ago. Yeah. yeah, Tom Hazard from from EMP Music Group hooked hooked it up, and it was just like, all right, dude, this is amazing. All right, anything so. new for the new year? Is it coming up? Well, we like we are the Loyal Order. That's who we are. This is Jeff Buner. I'm Brandon Cook, and. Uh, Tell them what we're doing. Hey, we're, we just finished uh, our video. Just reached two, our first single uh, video. Just came out. Yeah. Uh, it's been out for a little while. We just reached 200,000 views no last way. night. That's amazing. And uh, we're getting ready to release our record, and it'll be coming out really soon. We're working with Tom Hazard on that, so it's going to be great. All right. Where can we stay today? Website, social media wise. Theloyalorder.com and uh, the Loyal Order on Facebook and, and Instagram and Instagram as well. So. Sweet. And by the way, you can also find us on. Uh, all of the uh, MP3 outlets to find our single, the the Loyal Order. So like Amazon, iTunes, all that stuff. Yeah. All right, man. Such a pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah, I'll make you check out your music. Your Thanks for watching, everyone. And help us get more great content just like this. Please hit that subscribe button and follow us on all social media at Bionic Buzz. Thank you very much.